Okay, so from what I can figure, this is what I think. Uh, what I think is the bomb was set off. And it's set up to where you think the bomb was set off and it split realities. And in one reality, everybody goes on, flies on. The island was blown up back in the 70s with the hydrogen bomb. So uh, everybody was not affected by Jacob and, and, and Linus and everybody. Um, they didn't have that influence on them. So they flew on, their life went on you know like normal and so they land in LA and blah we get the LA story where they're in LA and then the island story is going on at the same time well okay except it starts getting weirder and weirder we all know this it starts getting well, wait a minute, so-and-so's there, wait a minute, so-and-so's there, I thought they lived over here in Australia, or I thought she was over there, why are they all in L.A., when nobody else lives anywhere else, but we're all living in L.A., this is kind of odd, um, and then, uh, but I, what I think is, is, the bomb went off, and people, they were thrown forward in time, they were thrown forward in time back to modern day, whatever the modern day was, uh, in uh, you know in the in the story verse, um, and the and the other sideline, the alternate dimension was not an alternate dimension; it was purgatory by taking what uh, by what uh, Jack's dad Christian was saying. So. That, from taking what he was saying, we're going to say this was a purgatory kind of area, and now you know we all watched it. They were moving on to whatever was next, you know, um, and so that's what that was. That's my opinion. That's what I think. Um, so if it's purgatory, where? Why weren't the others going on? Daniel and his little redheaded girlfriend, and uh, Whitmore and Whitmore's wife, and the cop. Uh, uh, what's her name? And, uh, and and all those, you know, little other incidents. You know, where was Echo? Where was Walt? Where was Walt's dad? Which I can't think of his name at the moment, but. Where were they? Where were them? You know, they were they. Are they still in purgatory? I mean, um, you know, what's her name? He said, no, she's not ready yet. She's not going with us. So, I mean, that's what I guess. That's what just what I'm guessing. You know, but I mean, you know, a little more clarification would have been nice. of my questions about what was going on and uh, you know I, like I said I love the show like I said it dragged a little bit in the middle uh, seasons but otherwise it was great uh, Adam JJ Adams is great his team there on Bad Robot is great um, I love watching whatever they put out they almost always have something good um, looking forward to something new you know, we need something. I like this kind of, you know, that's just me. I like this kind of lost flash forward kind of thing. And I, I would love to see some more of it. Um, and I loved, I love Star Trek. I think, I thought JJ did a great job on Star Trek because he, he, he lovingly took care of the, of the people that we love and, and cherish as Trekkies. But he gave his own little on it, a little, little zip and zap there, and uh, it, it was good. It was fun. It was fresh. It was interesting, and I'm looking forward to seeing more of that. Um, I wouldn't mind seeing a television show 
flow out of the Star Trek movies. That would be fun and interesting to see. Um, but, you know, it was good. I mean, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. You know, thumbs up kind of thing. It was a good, it was a good ending. Much better than the Sopranos ending, I'll give you that. Much better, a hell of a lot better than St. Elsewhere's. Uh, really, you know, really good ending. I liked it better than the Seinfeld ending. The Seinfeld ending sucked. Sorry. Sorry, Jerry, it sucked. Um, so, that was good. And you cannot tell me, you, you guys just cannot tell me, that when it got to the end, and Jack's wandering through the, the bamboo, and he's stumbling around, and he's holding that knife wound, and uh, he falls and lays down right where he was when we first started, because the pilot, you know, we get him hearing Claire scream, and he looks up through the bamboo and sees stuff, and Vincent, the dog, runs up to him and gets him up, and he, they go off and down to the beach. There he is, he's dying. Vincent walks up to him and nuzzles him and gives him a little dog love, lays down by him, lets him know it's okay. You know, I'm getting a little worked up right now. And 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 Jack dies. You cannot tell me you did not cry. You can't. Don't bullshit a bullshitter. Because I know you guys cried like babies. That was a that was a good ending. I really thought it thought it was really good I, like I said my only drawback is I wish we had tied the knots a little tighter wrapped everything up a little bit more it was still kind of loosey-goosey but um, good show good show I'm gonna have to uh, wait for the special DVD blu-ray editions to come out and buy them and then we'll have to review those but anyway that's my thoughts on lost uh, love to hear your guys' thoughts on Lost. Let me know what you think. Uh, give me a video response. Give me a comment response. Uh, get a little dialogue going. Let's talk about it. Because, you know, my ideas may be just shitting in the wind. You, you may have a better idea about what was happening and who was who and what was what. And maybe you can answer some of the questions. All right. That's all there be to this. Uh, I'm going to go uh, pick up my son and head to the house.